Ano po yung naging reaction mo? Yeah. I think for me it was um, addressed by one of our media friends. Diba parang they're a growing brand and like really they, they, they still want to get us as a brand ambassador. So, so we were very flattered and very surprised. So it was a, a pleasant, pleasant thing to know that we'll be working with a growing brand with Mr. DIY. Si Chess ka bigyan mo ng mic. Um, five years ago, so I did a, I did a mommy show. Um, so far, yun yung ginawa ko. But then, uh, right now, kasi my kids are so small. Parang I, I still wanna be there, I wanna raise them. Nag-i-enjoy ako na, napapanood ko sila ko naman. Okay. Siguro pag malaki-laki na sila ng konti, and I'm home schooling pag this school. So, um, pag malaki-laki sila, siguro I do want to go back. So yes, yes. Uh, may mga offers to be so for president before the pandemic. Pero hindi talaga kaya ng schedule. And at the same time, hindi ko rin kaya i-accept because nga of my children. So, is it okay for her to go back to service? Uh, um, asking if uh, I'm okay that you go back to service. I think, right? The kids. The kids. The kids? The kids? Yeah. You. Or so me? Sigenda. Jessica. Huh? Oh, sige, sila, sila na lang. Dog and then the kids. Dog and then the kids. Are you okay that mommy? Are you... Are you... No, kung may offer silang med show based, especially si Kendra. Uh, is that your question? Uh, no, actually no. Uh, okay, let me address the question. Uh, okay. Please ask, please ask, please ask I'm okay if you go back to show based. Okay, so um, my answer is, hindi muna. Parang for me, it's, uh, I like, to see her every day. Hindi ba ako nagsasawa sa face niya. So, and you know, we're really great partners in raising our children and managing our household. So, right now, there's no need to do it. But I'm sure it will be a pleasant surprise for the kids to see their mom acting again. How about the kids? No, not yet. <laughs> uh, we're very, ever since, like, when Kendra was six, seven years old, she had offers to do shows already and we wanted her to focus on her childhood and, and just enjoy you know doing all of these uh, digital campaigns and TVCs. we have control over our time so that's what's the most important for us is keeping our family life together mm. this is po namin magkaroon ng ano ng idea sa mga kids na they're living as a blogger as a family paano po yung buhay nila bilang mga bata lalo na po kapag nakikipag pal- Interact with other kids, other people. Actually, you know, uh, yung kids namin kasi, hindi naman sila nakababa. They're not in show business naman eh. So lahat ng mga ginagawa nila, yung mga TVC, or kaya mga photo shoots. So they have a lot of time. And um, yung mga, actually yung mga kaibigan ni Kendra, they don't know who she is. And um, I think she likes it also that way. That's, um, you know, she can enjoy um, uh, being just normal and everything. At saka parang sa kanila naman, hindi rin naman nila iniisip na ulalas na or anything like that. Parang normal lang sila mga bata. So when they meet other kids, normal. You know, marunong sila makihalo kung gusto mga ibang bata. Naging kay Didi din nila, ganun. Hindi niyo po nililipat tayo ba? I'm sorry. Hindi niyo po sila nililimit sa kanilang uh, pagkikipagkaibigan. Hindi. No. Hindi. Gusto nga namin sila mag-enjoy. Kaya nga, sabi nga namin sa kanya, kay Kendra, when she got offers before, sabi namin, enjoy mo mo na maging bata. Kaya niyo go to school, you know, uh, uh, do food in your sports, ganyan. Kasi darating na yun yung time na yan. Pero for now, uh, enjoy being a kid. Enjoy living a normal life, you know. 
Check. Yeah. Nakita namin kung paano kayo magpalaki talaga ng pamilya. Hindi, hindi nyo naman pinagdamot yun sa amin. At nakita namin kung gaano kaayos kayo magdala ng kami. Pero ang uh, nagdadala ka ng unti-unti, nagbibinata na. May naiiba ba sa mga rules nyo ngayon as parents? Sa pre-teens, taking care of pre-teens and teens? Siguro pareho pa rin siya. Para sa amin, talagang yung values na in-instill namin sa mga anak namin na um, dalhin talaga nila whether yung mga bata sila o hindi yung pag maging honest na sa, mag sa magulang nila, maging respectful siya sa magulang nila, na um, at the same time, you know, um, pagbutihin nila yung, yung pag-aaral nila, yung sports nila. Lagi namin sinasabi sa kanila, ano mo, ang dami yung opportunities, um, galingan ninyo kasi you know, those opportunities, They don't happen all the time. All the time doesn't come all the time. So be thankful for whatever comes your way. And you know, I think the number one thing that children need to remember is to respect their parents, you know, and to obey their parents because their parents only want what's best for them. Amen. I think one of the biggest differences when we were when they were younger, smaller, compared to now is how uh, engaged and intentional we are with their sports and activities. Uh, for example, you know, she, because Kendra goes to regular school, she goes early, 7 a.m., right? But, you know, for the two, is Scarlett and Gavin, they train every morning, 6 to 7, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the morning, for their sports-specific taekwondo and then basketball, and in the afternoon, they have trainings. And then Kendra is very focused on her swimming. So we also try to get her the best coaches that can help her out. So a lot of lessons can be learned through sports. So that's one of our goals is to instill the values and discipline in sports for them. Okay, as you mga children, meron mang chance that may pwede na kayo mag artista Are you willing to enter showbiz also? Yes, like your mga artista. Kendra. But then for now, I think I kind of want to just focus on school and my personal life like with my friends. And I'm also really enjoying what I'm doing now. So I feel no rush whatsoever to go into showbiz. And if ever I am going to, it's definitely going to be in the future. And I think I'll also enjoy it as well. So I'm really okay with anything. And anything that my parents think is best for me, I'll do it. What about you, Scarlett? Do you want to be in showbiz? She wants to be a Hollywood actress. Wow. <laughs> Level up again. Um, I actually don't want to think again because whatever this is going to make in the future, so I just want to be a Hollywood actress. But I'm going to be in the only school and just having fun to enjoy my childhood. The only boy. What about you? Johnny. Johnny. You want to be an actor? NBA player. Um, <laughs> NBA. NBA. Wow. That's my goal for um, my everyday training. It's all because of my moment. I like it also, the Jessica. I know. Jessica. 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 Hindi ba kayo nag-worry uh, para sa safety nila since lalo na uh, sikat na sikat kayo ngayon? Um, you know what? Whatever is seen on social media with my children, that is controlled by us. A lot, a big part of our life is not seen. A big part of, you know, how we live our lives is not seen. We only show what we want to show. And it's very controlled. As what you all know, my kids are not in show business. They do commercials, they probably do events like this once in a while, but a lot of their activities, people don't really know where we go, what we do, and we don't really post real time. And, um, you know, we make sure that our kids are safe, and that can also say something about that. I think, um, to address the question of um, safety of the kids, being exposed, but I think, We've heard that for how many years already, you know, when we've been in the social media platforms since 2014, but it's been nine years, and I think it's just a matter of 
just teaching our kids to stay grounded and not to get whatever attention they have to get into their heads, to always remain humble. And, but in terms of security, parang it hasn't been an issue. And um, you know, our, our page is 99.99% very positive. You know, uh, a lot of what you see there are just all family friendly uh, families and, and followers there. So parang it's of no worry for us. If you go out, the experience you know, that people would come to you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. We, we have a lot of people come up to us, ask for pictures, but you know, they're very friendly. They also respect. And you know, we're so thankful to all our followers, to all those who, who continue to love our family because, you know, without them, you know, we probably won't be here. And I'm just so thankful for them. I'm so thankful that our family is loved and, um, these people continue to support us, so thank you very 